Well, hello, folks. As you have seen, Governor Bashir has ordered a mandatory use of masks for people out in public. We've read the executive order, and uh, we want to comply. We always want to do really everything that's required of everyone else. And so the wearing of masks is uh, a good thing. We do believe that it helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. What that looks like for us is we want you to wear a mask when you come and when you enter until you are seated. Uh, and we are going to seat you, as always, socially distant, at least six feet from every other family group. Once you're seated, if you wish to take off your mask, you can. But I, I would ask, first of all, that you make sure you understand we have to seat you. Uh, as things have sort of settled into a feeling of a little bit of normalcy, some people have wanted to insist on sitting where they want. You don't get to do that. Listen to me. If I can preach three times on the weekend, if our volunteers can clean up after you, you can sit where we ask you to sit. It's just reasonable. You know, during this time, there's been so much noise and so much division. I'm asking you to make sure that we as a church stay united. We're not going to divide over silly little things about like where you sit. We're going to be safe. We're going to get to worship together. Uh, we are trying to do everything according to CDC guidelines. We're not being belligerent. We're not being uh, adversarial in any way. Uh, I have sometimes pushed back against certain things uh, in a public way to say that I think some things could be done better. But when everyone's asked to do something, we're going to comply. We're going to do it too because we, we want to be safe. So once you're seated where we ask you to sit, socially distant from other people. If you want to take off your mask, uh, you're free to do that. Then when we're dismissed, we're going to ask you to put it back on and uh, to leave, again, socially distant. Now, I will tell you, what we're doing, frankly, works. We have learned after the fact that we have had people here at Buck Run who were COVID-19 positive. We learned that well after the fact, but because of our protocols in place, there was not a spread. So you need to understand wherever you go in public, there are probably going to be people who are COVID-19 positive. So you even want to think of yourself as a potentially asymptomatic and yet still a carrier. You want to make other people feel comfortable and don't get up in their space and you don't want to get anybody else's space other than your own family unit. So we're just trying to comply, trying to do this well. Let's stay unified in heart. Let's serve and praise the Lord together. Let's serve one another. Let's tone down the noise. And let's just be humble. There, I said it with the sound of an H on the front of it, for those of you who care about such things. Uh, let, let's have humility uh, about ourselves and uh, let's comply. Because if this is what we have to do to be together, to hear the word, to sing praises to the Lord, it's a small price to pay. Now, remember, if you don't feel safe or if you're in a vulnerable population, nobody's judging your spirituality because you stay home. Join us online. Sing there in your home. Continue to participate through prayer, through giving, uh, through inviting others to watch online at the same time. Do whatever you can in the way that is safe for you, but let's stay together. We are the body of Christ. Let's function together as the body of Christ. So if you're coming this Sunday or Saturday night, as the case may be, I'll see you 6 o'clock Saturday night or 9 o'clock or 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Remember, it's, it's live streamed at uh, 11 on Sunday morning. But if you're here in our services, wear your mask when you come in until you're seated. When you leave, put it back on. Keep it on until you are uh, in your vehicle or away from everyone else. And the Lord's going to see us through this. Uh, let's stay focused. Let's stay committed. And let's bring glory to the Lord Jesus Christ.